Hey guys from sunny Costa del Slau with Jay Nija and Manny Chopra here. A new week, a new deal and obviously you're not going to believe me again but this time around we've actually gone and bought another beautiful property this time. Obviously beautiful means it needs work doing, it needs modernizing but for an investor that's like beautiful, right? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> so guys, let's go and have a look at our beautiful property and tell you what, what it's all about. Let's go. So guys, one more question. We don't hang around guys, it's been less than 48 hours since we completed on this property and you can see it's already, the skip's already full. So there's a lot of action in a space of 48 hours and let's go and see what all has been happening inside. So a couple of things to mention here, I think this here, right here is a shared access. So initially, the people who owned this was, so this was a probate. Yeah. Uh, well, it was kind of a probate, but the people who'd already passed were not selling it. Yes. So it was someone who was actually the beneficiary was selling it basically. And this was a shared access. And if you have a look, well, you can't because the gate's closed, but basically uh, one of the uh, sons effectively yeah. of the people who had passed here and then passed it on to his grandson, the son actually had built a house at the back and he's actually got shared access to this. So there was a, a huge issue about uh, indemn uh, indemnity clause, uh, shared access, who's going to maintain it, all of those things. Uh, but obviously we keep it posted on the details later, but I just wanted to sort of put it out there to say, these are very common things that you find in properties where you have covenants against a uh, single dwelling house. So we had another problem with that as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, there was about three indemnity policies we had to take out, which obviously we talked to you about in you know future videos. But I just wanted to give you a bit of nutshell, a bit of flavour of the challenges we had initially yeah, exactly. in the legal process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else was we uh, was there? There was three policies, right? Yeah. So it was to do with planning, existing planning. Yes. The rear extension, the roof. And so the, the that's right. So the as Jay mentioned, the so single rear extension did not have any building control. It did not have any evidence of planning, and so did the loft. So again, we have to take out some policies as well. So I think in total, we have three indemnity policies to cover all the various different aspects and issues. And we go through it in more detail at the Titans event. But let's follow through and see why we bought this property and what you think, uh, uh, you know, why did it you know, speak to us and why did we you know, end up buying it really? Let's go. So here, you, as you come in, you see this beautiful landing area with lots of different rooms around it. Coming into this front room here, this is effectively a small room. I, uh, Jay, does it fit within the? It does. I don't think it's six point five meters. It's just which is over, a, so it would just fit as a single. So room. we could do it as a single room, yes, but single what we have decided to do in the future plan is to do it as a kitchen. Yes, because we've got multiple kitchens. So the plan is basically huge space, huge yeah. space to use. So we we spot the choice of what we could do through laundry, kitchen, study. But I think the plan for now is kitchen. So the plan really is what? To buy this property, it's a four bedroom property and we can convert it into hopefully a 10 bed HMO, subject to planning. Uh, that's a big one, subject to change of views as well and subject to planning for single storey extension and of conversion. So this in the future is going to be a single room, uh, but phase one uh, is going to be a locked room basically, which is going to lock it, we're not giving access to the tenants. Uh, and uh, so, you know, we're going to be doing this property in phases. And if you want to know more about how this phase is going to work out and how exactly we're doing it, you must come and book yourself to the next Titans event on the 10th of October, which is when we're going to share the exact storyline, the exact details and how we're planning to propose to get to the 10-bed 